For those of you who are new around here, we are a half English, half Swedish family living on the southeast coast of Sweden. We've been on many exciting adventures together, but right now we're focused on one thing, the journey to battling an aggressive form of colorectal cancer. All right, first day of uh, radiation therapy. Yeah. How are you feeling? A bit nervous, to be honest. Don't really know what to expect with this one, do we? No. I think they're probably just going to do like calibration, aren't they? They're doing like a setup, basically, like what program I'm on. Yeah. <laughs> giving me a tattoo to <laughs> show where they're. Yeah, getting some fresh ink as well. Yeah. That's a bonus, that isn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be anything nice. No, big uh, X. <laughs> X marks the spot, yeah. Blast me here. <laughs> so um, we'll see how it goes. We don't really know where we're going. It's uh, a new place, isn't it? Yeah, it's not in the actual hospital. It's in a little building next to it, they said. Yeah, oncology. It, yeah. Place, isn't it? Uh, I was just going to say something else as well. What was I going to say? Oh, no, it's gone. Yeah, the hopes are that they start the actual radiotherapy on... Monday. Yeah. I really, really hope it's Monday, but I don't think it will be. Well, they said one to two weeks after this uh, after this appointment. we got about a five-month timeline now, haven't we? Yeah. It starts with radiotherapy, and then we get this out of the way, and then it's chemo after that. Yeah, I think it's a two-week break, and then it's chemo. Yeah. For a few months. Yeah, but one step at a time. Yeah. We get through this bit first. Yeah. Before we move on <laughs> to thinking about the next thing. So, um... Yeah, should we go and do it? Yeah, let's um, find where we're going. Let's do it. All in all, radiation therapy went well. Molly experienced real fatigue and muscle aches throughout, and the radiation gave her extreme stomach cramps at one point, but she got through it like an absolute trooper. All right, last day of radiation therapy. How are you feeling? A bit rough. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit of a tough few days, hasn't it? Yeah, it's the tiredness. And I feel really sick, but I think that's from being too tired. Yeah, they said that it can affect people in different ways. Some people get tired and some people get nauseous and you've had a bit of everything, haven't you? Yeah, and uh, some really bad pain in my thighs. But because it's in like the pelvic, is it called pelvic? Mm -hmm. Bacon? Yeah, it's, uh, they said it affects the muscles. So that's why it gets really like tight almost. Yeah, it's been a tough few days, hasn't it? Bless you. Yeah. But the last day today, uh, and then the first step is over at least, and then we move on to the next bit, <laughs> which uh, is probably not going to be that much easier, to be fair. It's going to be, I feel like every step is going to be harder. And I think that's why it's really important that you take everything one step at a time. Yeah. Like we've been really good at it so far. We're taking it day by day, and we have to just keep doing that all the way through, I think. Yeah. Yeah. We brought the kids with us on the last day as well so they can come and see the hospital where Mama's getting her tummy fixed. Uh, they've got some toys in the waiting room and stuff, so... I think we need to get out of this car. Yeah, I was going to say, let's go and do it. Let's go and do the last, the last day. Good luck. As we were spending a lot of time there, away from the kids, we wanted them to think of the hospital as a nice place with toys and fun stuff, rather than somewhere scary or unpleasant. Hey! Hey! Are you looking at the fish? Fish? Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? This turned out to be a great idea. We had a nice day and celebrated the end of radiation therapy afterwards. First day of chemo? First day of chemo. Feeling? Nervous. Yeah. Still positive or mostly just nervous right mostly now? Mostly just nervous right now. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to take 16 of these. <laughs> Your little pill cocktail. Yeah. And then just two of these. So. Mm -hmm. so what is only eight today, is it? Only 18. Only 18 today. <laughs> All right. First round of chemo. Yeah. Going in. Going in. How's it feeling? You can't feel anything at all, really, to be honest. No. Like, um, I feel more calm now when it started than I was before. <laughs> yeah, you're a bit nervous before and yeah. stuff, but maybe feeling a little bit more positive now, I guess. Yeah. Now yeah. that we've seen what it is and sort of how it how it works and whatever. Yeah, it feels all right, at least. Yeah, good. And you've got one of these 
things in. This is called a pick line. So this purple line here actually goes all the way in around there and then almost into your heart. And that's going to stay in there for about three and a bit months um, during the whole chemo process, yeah, exactly. which is nuts. It's yeah. uh, modern medicine. Yeah, it's it's so crazy, so cool. isn't it? It's so cool. The nurses this morning were impressed with how calm I was when they put this in, because it was like a small operation. Like everything was sterile. Yeah, yeah, it was a proper uh, little like a small problem. surgery, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, and I'd lay under the cover and stuff like that. Mm. So they said they were impressed with how calm I was. But I said to you after that, like I focus on what they're doing and not why they're doing it. And that makes me calm because it's so cool that they can do this these days. Like, yeah, that he just, they did like you do when you take a blood test. They opened it up a bit more and then they put in a tube that goes from here to here without opening it up and looking. Like they just did it with a, what is it called in English? It's EKG, it's called EKG Swedish. and an ultrasound to find the vein. Yeah. And then they had a little uh, a little machine, like a little pad that they put yeah. on put on your chest and like watched the pipe going in yeah. almost. It's really it's crazy. So cool. We said like if it wasn't for the awful reason that we're having to do it, it's a really interesting thing to see. Mm, definitely. It's um it's impressive. So one of the main uh, side effects for this particular chemotherapy treatment is uh, that you can get really sort of sensitive uh, in your airways and stuff, uh, especially when you're breathing in when it's cold outside. It's about minus five at the moment. So I'm having to walk everywhere, covered up completely. Apparently you can get the feeling of suffocating. It's horrible. It's like, I can feel it down in my lungs. It's also like uh, something is stuck in my throat. Like you've swallowed a uh, really it. strong mint and it's got stuck or something. Yeah. Oof. I can feel it now. Yeah. When I breathe, I breathe like I've run a mile <laughs> and we walk 200 meters. Oh God, it's horrible. Bless you. All right, so we just wanted to jump in and say a massive thank you for the response on the last video that we posted, our first cancer video. We've had so many comments and so much support from you guys, and we just want to say a massive, massive thank you. It truly means a lot to us. It really does. It's nuts. Um, so thank you all very much. You never quite know what the response is going to be when you sort of put yourself out there like this. This is quite a a very a very personal journey uh, for us yeah so you never know and the sport's just been unreal so thank you so much anybody who's just started following us or who's le left us a nice comment or whatever it's been uh, lovely to see hasn't it so, yeah it's been amazing yeah thank you guys so um it's very very much appreciated and i hope you all stick around for the uh, rest of the journey because there's a long way to go isn't there it's a long way to go and uh, Obviously, we hope to stick around for our nice adventures when we're done with this crap. Yeah, we feel like we want to help whoever we can in terms of uh, anybody else that's going through this journey that we are. Um, but there's a lot more fun, positive, happy adventures to come after this, isn't there? Yeah, but also thank you for watching this video. Yep, um, and, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and um, we'll see you again next weekend. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.